to show you today is how to prick out your aubergines. Now I did sew two varieties of aubergines this year. I show I, I showed I sewed some that I some seeds that I bought in Spain several years ago and not one of those came up. They've come up before but I think maybe they were just a little bit too old. So the Spanish aubergines haven't grown this year which is a shame but the other variety, which were called Rosa Bianca, which are absolutely beautiful, have come up fabulously. I'm so pleased with these. Um, I should have pricked these out a little while ago, but I've just been so busy with one thing and another that I just haven't had chance to until now. So um, they are a, a little bit larger than I normally would have pricked them out, but um, they're not too big, so that's not a problem. So. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how to prick out your aubergines. Now it's very easy, I'm just going to prick out one plant into just one three inch pot. So get your three inch pot, fill it with multi-purpose compost or whatever compost you prefer, gently tap it down so that there's no big gaps at the bottom. So that's the compost done. And now all we need to do is to get out uh, one of these. You can either use a pencil or a dibber, but these are actually, because they're quite large, um, I'm actually going to be able to just sort of tear them off. Now, hopefully you can see there's lots of lovely roots down there. So they've been growing very, very happily. So all I'm going to do is I'm just gently going to get hold of the compost round one of them and just gently sort of prise it away. If you rip some of the really small roots, don't worry, as long as you don't rip the main root, which is the main tap root, which runs straight down from the, the base of the stem straight down, then it'll be absolutely fine. Also be careful not to pull it from the stem, okay? If you do need to pull them apart, use one of the little baby leaves, okay? So I've got my little seedling here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hole in the compost and then I'm going to put the seedling in. Now aubergines don't like to be planted deep. You need to plant them at the same depth or near enough as they were in the compost, okay? So they get their, their planted high up, all right? So I've popped it in roughly the same height as it was in the compost. Just move the compost round and just gently firm it in like that. So there's one done. So I will carry on and do the rest of them. And when I have finished, I will show you. So here they are, I've got seven in one tray and I've got six in another. There was one very, very tiny one, but I thought, no, it really wasn't big enough. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to water them, but I'm going to water the tray so that the compost can um, soak up. I don't want to water across the top because I'll be putting these back in the greenhouse and if there's water on the leaves, then the leaves might get burnt. So, and that'll be no good for anyone. So I've half filled this tray with water and I will check it after about an hour. If all the water has gone, if it's been soaked up, then I will add a little bit more. I'll also check again tonight. What you want to end up with is you want the top of this compost here to be damp, and then you know that the pot has soaked up enough water to get from the bottom all the way to the top. So I will put these back in the greenhouse. I will check them after about an hour, just the water level um, and just to see. But there are the aubergines, so that's them all pricked out. Well, that's the aubergines done. They'll stay in these three inch pots for 
most probably about another four weeks or so and when they get too big for those for these little three inch pots then I will move them into their final pots which are about six inch pots or thereabouts but when I do get to do that then I will show you so hopefully now they're they've got a little bit more space to play with they will grow quite rapidly because it is really quite warm and the greenhouse is at the moment is in the upper 30s so it will be lovely for the aubergines they'll really enjoy that heat well i hope you found what i've shown you useful and i look forward to seeing you soon bye bye